Elders, sing it for yourself. Iso Gidobuka, even on the Royal Council meeting day. Uh, I was not drunk. Yes, Iso Gidi cannot be a drunk. I was just some battle, yes. Some battle. Some battle with your full official regalia on and a bottle of alcohol in your hand. Oh. <laughs> it is not alcohol. Uh, it, it, it was a medication I was taking for. For, for, for. Okay. <clears throat> if you don't believe me, let me just stand. Stand up. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Have you people forgotten that I was uh, a colonel during civil war? Egbri, please help him into the house. And don't forget his majesty's instructions. Let's go back to the palace, Iche. No, Edas, I said that I was not... We are not here to argue with you, Isogid Obuka. Just to confirm the information the cabinet got for his majesty. As a matter of fact, every member of council is already in the palace for your own good. Do not keep the council waiting for much longer. Iche, let's go. Uh, Edas, Edas, please, don't, 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 don't report me, eh? Isogid. For the second time, I ask you, is your Gide, Ibuka? Where is your son, Ibukwe? Uh, your Majesty, I've just told you that my son is living in Europe. And uh, all of us here knows about that. Uh, Edas, don't you? Hmm? All those who live in Europe are seen and heard from is your goodie. Obuka, I have two sons in America. They keep in touch from time to time. As a matter of fact, I spoke to them on the telephone today. Our people who go there see them. They too come home at least once every year. In the case of your son, he has never been seen or heard from for the last four years. Is that not so, Elders? Yes, are right, Your Majesty. Yes, I, I, me too. I spoke with him this morning. Uh -huh. Okay, when you were sleeping and sunbathing with a bottle of whiskey. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, stop all these stories. Give me his number. And let me phone him and speak to him in the presence of the elders here. Number. Mm. <clears throat> uh. The number. He told me not to give his number to any person. I'm sorry. I cannot disobey my son. You are not going to disappoint your son. <laughs> Obviously, elders, honor has become a stranger to the Isiogidis. Yes, or else, why would an honorable man want to lie before the royal council? As he is obviously doing. God forbid, your majesty. I am not lying. Then, give me the number. Are you still aware that in this kingdom, I hope you still remember, the Isiogidi is an Igwe in waiting. Yeah. 
should anything happen to me or my two sons, you automatically become the king, according to our custom and tradition. I remember. Give me the number. Elders, I shall put the whole situation to a vote. All those who want us to continue to have a drunkard, a liar, as our Izugidi, should signify by raising up their hands. No, Your Majesty, please don't do this. Please don't. Give me the number. Then the voting continues. All those who believe this is your guru should signify by raising up their hands. All those who want him deposed signify by raising up your hands. That is it then. By the powers conferred on me, I hereby decree that you, Izugiri, shall cease to hold that title. And you will be replaced by your son. He will have it by inheritance according to our custom and tradition. Produce your son to be installed in the next eight days or else the title will go to another family i have spoken Majesty, Tell me what is going on. Huh? Can somebody tell me what is going on? How was handover in Austria? It went as planned, sir. No problem at all, sir. Any problem back here at the airport? No, no sir. sir. Remove the cough. Yes, sir. Excuse me. Come on, you guys can't leave me like this. What is going on? Can somebody tell me what is going on? Who are you? is waiting for you. And who's your boss? Mr. Nelson Mwani. Hello. Yes, come on, right in. Come on, bring him in, bring him in. Oh. 
Ah, Nelson, my boy. <laughs> Nelson, my boy. <laughs> oh, boss. What in the name of God is going on today? Oh, come on, boss. It's simple. Welcome back to the country, and you are in your boy's house. What? <laughs> you, you mean you mean you this this whole place is truly yours? Every square inch of it, boss. Not as a tenant, but as a landlord. Nelson, how did you do it? Oh, please, why don't you have a seat first? <laughs> oh, David, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Brief me, Nelson. Oh, well, boss, um, first things first. Your boy engineered your release and deportation from Austria and subsequent release here in Nigeria. Oh, and how did you do it? Are you now a government official? Oh, far from it, boss. Far from it. You see, as a matter of fact, I am still the same person you taught me to be, boss. A guy on the first lane. You see, the Dutch lady you married in Europe is entitled to her whims, but that does not include, and will never include, colluding with our country's officials to destroy your drug cartel that took you so many years to build. And sending you to 12 long years in prison simply because you had some domestic issues with her. Most of your boys left in pursuit of their well being, but not me. I couldn't stomach it, boss. Come on, boss. I was just a mere street urchin in a jungle when you me up and took me to Europe. Now how could I possibly forgive a lady who has destroyed everything for me? Everything for you and everything for our guys. And so boss, I have been planning my vengeance. And when I finally hit it big, I launched the operation. I saw you sitting right here beside me, a free man. <laughs> How did you do it, Nelson? Oh, boss. Her family members started disappearing one after the other. With a note left behind. Saying that there will be no one left behind to answer the family name if you were not immediately released and deported down to Nigeria. She thought I was bluffing. When her husband and her two-year-old son disappeared last two weeks. Oh, then. Then and then she knew exactly what she was up against and pressurized her country to do exactly, exactly as I wanted. Your release by the NDLEA officials was the simplest. It was kind of a Confucius relationship. Scratch my back, scratch yours. <laughs> Money exchanged hands, and here you are, a free man. Once again, boss, with all due respect, welcome back home. <laughs> Nelson, <laughs> boy, come here. Nelson, how do I thank you enough, Nelson? Oh, for what, boss? Oh, come on, boss. I should be the one on the other side thanking you for everything. For without you, boss, there will be no Nelson. <laughs> Just like in the biblical ten, many were healed, but only one remembered to show gratitude. Uh -huh. Just one. You know, Nelson, gratitude is such a rare virtue in men that wherever it is seen and found, it must be appreciated. Thank you, my Ah, feels good to be back home, Nelson. Welcome back home. I miss my country. <laughs> I miss my country. Uh, mm. uh -huh. mm. Tell me, Nelson, how is my father? Well, boss, the old man is doing fine and is kicking. Well, you see, boss, your boy covered your ass real tight. As a matter of fact, no one in your village 
knows that you were in prison. Nobody? Nobody. Thank you, Nelson. Thank you. Welcome, boss. Now to my next question, Nelson. The house, the cars, your new status. How come? Are you, are you back in the drug business? Kidnapping. Excuse me. Kidnapping.
Wilson. Excuse me? Excuse you? So this is why you were doing everything possible to get me drunk back at the bar? You thought I was so drunk that I would, I would not be able to recognize her? Now what in the name of God are you talking about, boss? My God, God Nelson. The lady you kidnapped and brought right here for me to screw is the princess of my kingdom, Abba. <laughs> oh, come on, boss. For crying out loud, Lillian is a prostitute. Oh, oh. Damn. is happening. A princess of Abba is right here living a disgraceful double life. Their majesties must hear this. This is Delta State and Lillian lives in Enugu State. Admitted the striking resemblance between the two of them shocked me too bad but, but this... Wait, can you for one stop talking Nelson? The princess of my kingdom is here desecrating our, our, our culture and you're sitting out here talking. Take me to her at once. She must be stopped before she destroys my people. Boss, do you still believe they are the same person? Isn't it obvious, Nelson? Take me to Abba at once. Yes, boss. Why are you stopping here? Come on, boss. I did not come all the way from Enugu to Ekmoma just to see your princess with you. I came to prove something to you so that you can concentrate and organize your chartered life. You still don't appreciate the dangers of what is going on for my people, Nelson? Of course I do. And that is why I brought you here. But right here is your princess's lodge off campus. How do you know that? <laughs> Come on, boss. In my line of business, human networking is key. Are here. Now come with me. Yeah. How are you? I'm great. What's the biggie? You asked him to bring me your ASAP. Yeah, did he not give you the hundred thousand naira I gave for you? He gave it to me now. Uh, but that doesn't answer my question. Don't worry, baby. You're safe. I'll explain everything to you much later. Uh, the person we're waiting for is here. 
David will take you back to Enugu. Cool deal. And, and you? Really? What are you doing here? Um, I was just around the neighborhood. Then. And you said to check up. Oh, of course. You know how you're doing. Take it inside. This is not what brought me to this place. Please. Fatty, if, if, if you know what this drink did to me, you won't even present it to me. I mean, you don't know what it has done to me. Just, just, this is a very, easy, very easy. Very easy. Take the drink inside. Okay, why no. not? And blood, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. I, you? <laughs> Good to see you. Hey, my son, you're welcome. Good to see you. You look I'm happy to see you. You look well. I'm good, well. I'm okay. Hey, Nancy. Hey, God, I thank you, I thank you. I'm in front of your house. Hi. Sorry for the other day. I mistook you for someone else. And I, uh... My fee is 30k for daybreak movements. Alright. I really don't have a problem with that. Uh, I still feel weird. Worse. Forget the English. I speak it impeccably too. 30k for service rendered. Any position, 30k. That's the flat rate. So just move your car and get your service. Uh, 
Why? You woke up. You woke up. You woke up. You woke up. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Oh, not again. No. Who the heck is this? My father. Whatever. You should have told the man what the deal was before you brought me here. Why is he closing his eyes? Actually, it's a taboo in my place for any other man except her husband or members of her immediate family to see the upper legs of the princess. Um, not your princess. I told you before and I'm telling you again. I am not born into a royal family. I am not from a royal lineage. Are you deaf? What is wrong with you people? Of course I'm not. Sorry for the embarrassment. I brought you here so my father can see you and to ask you a few don't questions. You, don't you ask me any stupid question, mister. Now I know that I'm going to be losing 30k by doing this. Hey, go to hell. And guess what? Kiss my black spotted Nash. Bros, forget English, man. Not much. Hey. Arrow. 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 Hey. This is an abomination. Princess Olama of Abba Kingdom. Hey. Abomination. No. Where did you find her? Father. Is all my mind to him? Not at all. No. Are you sure? Absolutely. Hey! Igwe must hear this. Igwe must hear this. So all I want to get out of Hey! Hey! You don't have to keep doubting me, Papa. With these very eyes, I saw Princess Olama while the lady that just left here was a few meters away. Girls of Abba. No. I can't believe it. I cannot believe this. I mean, there must be an explanation to it. Exactly my point, Father. There must be an explanation. And I have vowed to discover it. And until I do, I will not be going to Abba with you, Father. You must be joking, Ibogwe. You must be joking. We have only two days to the expiration of Igwe's deadline. How can you allow our family to suffer such disgrace while you are here searching for whatever you want to search for? Ah. Father, is it not true that anyone who produces twins cannot sit on the ancient throne of Abba? Are you trying to say that uh, our king had twins and secretly sent one away in order to return the throne? Father, with what you just saw today, isn't it possible? Are people more serious? No, no, not yet. Relax, Papa. Not yet. We just discovered this. We need to investigate and be sure of our facts. Remember, if this turns out to be true, as the Isyogidi, you will become the Iwe of Abba immediately. <laughs> My son, I'm already disqualified as Isyogidi of Abba. Yes, the council gathered together and removed me as Isyogidi. I'm no more this show bit of Abba. All right, well, you, you still have two days. Yes, you still have two days in that position. Who knows? We may be able to discover this before that time. But if in the end we're not able to do that, fine. I will return to Abba and be installed the Isyogidi. Uh, at least that will buy us enough time. Because, Father, this, this is crucial. If this whole thing turns out to be true, the throne of Abba will come to our family immediately. And that Baba is more important to me than going to Abba right now. And again, Father, the princess has already seen me. She must have told her parents.
How do you intend going for the search of this whole thing? How? how? Father, Nelson has developed a plan already, and I need you to be part of it. Me? Yes, you. Father, the implications are so huge that all hands must be on deck. Remember, if this turns out to be true and nobody does anything about it, people will start dying indiscriminately in ABBA once the twins clock 30. The deaths could even start with you and I, Papa. Is that what you want? Think. and had a stroke this morning. Please, who are you? Why are you the one calling me? What about my father? Oh, I'm Drobas. Invaded our house. And took their phones too. Hey! Oh, I'm good. Thank you very much for calling me. I'm, 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 I'm on my way to the village. Yes, I'm on my way to the village. Come on. Come on. Thank you for calling me. I'll call. Yes, please. Sorry, please. I'm so sorry, please. Can you just drop me at any junction? Just anywhere. Anywhere at all is fine. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Are you sure of what you have just told me, Alamo? Yes, Dad. I won't lie about anything like that. I saw him. He said he was coming back from the airport with a friend who came to pick him up and then he saw me drive past. So he insisted on coming to say hello, I mean, to greet me properly. <laughs> this is stranger. Why? 24 hours to the expiration of the ultimatum I gave his father, Igbo Kwe suddenly appears in the country. Without deeming it proper to come to Abba. The next day, his father leaves Abba without telling anybody where he was going. My lord, maybe he's aware of his return and has come to meet him. Without telling anybody in Abba? You know the Isiokidi of Abba is full of surprises. Could be he wants to surprise everybody again. Well, yeah, there's some sense in that. But he will find out that is not going to surprise anybody. Alama, call me Kure. Oh, yes. I want to see and inform my elders immediately. Wait, Dad. You said you gave his father an ultimatum that ought to expire tomorrow. Yes. What ultimatum? The Royal Council met last week and voted to remove him as the issue Gidi of Abba. Your father issued a decree giving him eight days to produce a son Ibuque to take over or lose out to a different family. Oh, he started drinking heavily again. Oh, he got so deep that uh, he became a disgrace to the exalted position that he holds. So, I said, we've had enough. Oh, fair enough. I mean, 
Good for him, his son will certainly bring back the glamour and dignity associated with that, with that position once he's installed. Yeah, I beg to be excused, Dad. No, let me call it Bri. Excuse me. as bad as the person told you. Hmm? Mama, it is not the fact that Amobas came here that scared me. Eh? What Who is, is Papa? Uh, he went to the police station. They invited him to come and identify our phones. Someone said he picked them by the roadside. So he has gone to bring them back. attack and stroke this morning in Fiawa. It is not my portion. Hey. I who must have made that kind of call? I'm on you. I have not been this scared all oh my life. Hey. It's okay. It's okay. Let me get you something to eat. Only. Hey. Hey. Welcome. Only. Hey. Hey. Follow hey. 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 Mistakes will not be tolerated. If any of you is in doubt about what I can do to anyone who screws up my job, ask your boss here, Nelson. A few years ago, he was my boy. Very clever, very obedient. And for that, I helped him shape his destiny. Today, the table has turned. I need his help to shape my own destiny, and that is why he assembled every one of you here. Nelson. He made me whatever I am today, as I made each and every one of you. I see this operation as payback to him, and I expect you, you, and you to see it as payback to me. Are you in? Yes, boss. Yes, boss. The operation starts today.
Hi. Yeah, how are you? Pretty. You look good. Careful, right? <laughs> yes. Come on. Thank you. Yes, we're still having fun. Uh -huh. Just that this is going to be the most expensive fun of your life, and I bet you you will enjoy every bit of it. Please, please, if I can see the fun, I will still enjoy it. Let me see it, please. Part of it. Now, no more argument, or I will shoot you in the back. Sorry. Now move it. Okay, sir. Is the money I charge you too much? Come on. Thirty k. Not too much, bros. Thirty k. Let me reduce it. I need to make an introductory speech. How dare you bring my plan? No! 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 You will cooperate with me and that's an order. As I speak to you, your two sons, Tony and Peter, in the University of Jos are being shadowed by two sharpshooters. Shut up, I'm still talking. So just in case you think of disobeying me at any point in time, they die. And then you die. And then your entire family will be wiped out. Don't ever think of playing with me. I don't play. I don't bluff. My God. So you have my sons too? What manner of business are you talking about that justifies? Mm -hmm. Take them to their room. If any of them tries to play smart at any point, please cut off the 
human being like me, so you are my brother. <laughs> and, uh, advance in age too. Um, please, I beg you, ask them to stop what they are doing. I'm free, I am members of my family. My wife here is past menopause. Look at us. Can we possibly bear any children at this age? Please, have mercy on us. Whatever is our sin, forgive us and death. Do not hurt us. Don't abandon God. Please. Please. <coughs> I've told you over and over that no one is going to hurt any of you here. They've assured me, even before bringing you here, that they will not do anything. And I believe them. All we need from you is answers. Just answers to few questions and you return home safely. First, we learned that you are not the indigent of the village where we found you. I mean, where are you from and why are you living there? Before now, I was living in Midugu with my family. My wife and I were traders, doing fairly well. Lilia and our brothers were in the university. Everything changed after the 2011 election violence in the northern part of the country. As if that was not enough, a terrorist group invaded our neighborhood and destroyed everything. In fact, we lost everything. We narrowly escaped death by the whiskers. It was then that uh, my wife and children pressurized me to relocate to the south. Lillian, who was in the university, chose to drop out of school and became a hustler, Papa. Yes, a hustler, just to sustain her brothers in school and uh, we, her parents. I prefer the word prostitute. So you are aware that your daughter here sells her body for 40k, as she put it. And you endorsed it, huh? Yeah, my brother, we had to survive. We had no other choice. Of course you have a choice. You could send your family members to the village and possibly solicit for help from people, from your family members. Other people who were faced with such a situation did the same thing. Our culture provides such and makes it possible for us to Get help from family members. But you refuse to do that. And that brings me to my next question. If where you're staying is not your village, then let it. Then where you? I'm sorry. I cannot give you any answer. Papa. Yes. Papa. Even when our lives are in danger here, yeah? Ibe, what is it about where you were born that you do not want to tell me? Chica, 
you will not understand. Oh, don't dare talk to me like that. I have accepted that answer from you since I was a child. And so do your children. Even we have suffered untold hardships on the account of that. Look at our daughter. Selling her honor as a woman just to get her for us. Because you have refused to answer this question. Under such a situation, you're telling me I will not understand. Understand what? Yes. Understand what? Talk to me. Tell them. Just begin to talk down. I am protecting all of you, Chica. Protector. Protector. We are hostages here, even. A god is being pointed at us. Are you telling me you are protecting us? How? You are from Abakanda. Aren't you, Ibe? <laughs> Your expression has answered my question, Mr. Ibe. We are also from Abba. Now, tell me. Why did you, why did you leave Abba? And why are you hiding it from your family? Ibe, is it true? Where is Abba? Chica, I don't know what they're talking about. I don't even know them. I would rather die than answer that question. I will not go to I'm not prepared to give any answer. Mm. Do you want to die? Mm. Yes. You'd rather die? Yes. Alright. How about watching your family members die right in front of you? Okay. Lillian dies first. Mm. Nelson should have died. No, 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 Alright. Silence. 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 Nelson, put the gun down. Talk. Don't take me back to Abba and uh, don't harm any of my children. Um, <clears throat> all my honor as Isio Gidi of Abba, I give you that promise. Thank you. And um, God will disgrace and utterly destroy any person that will break it. Of any of those effort. I promise you. But why is you Billy? Comport, Nelson. Comport. Let me talk. Um, thank you. Thank you. First, my full name is uh, uh, Ibezim. I am the son of uh, Maz Ibezim of Akaupu village in Aba. What? Yes. Ibezim Udeze. The one that disappeared. Why hunting in the forest? The same day Atani family lost the royal throne of Abba. I mean, 41 years ago? No, I did not disappear. I only left Abba to save my life and that of Chika here. Yes. When I was 16 years old, He came back one day, drunk, and raped me. When he realized what he did the next day, he ran away. 
said he could not imagine himself living in the same town with me after what happened. Neither could I. I was confused. I was devastated. This is a man I grew up knowing as my father. To run away to. I ran to a neighboring rural area where months later I discovered I was pregnant. For reasons I I could not explain even now. I kept the pregnancy. I survived by begging and walking on people's farms until I was due for delivery. When labor started, I had nobody to run to. So, I went to the house of a young doctor who was doing his national youth service. Your Highness, he is neutralized. Ah, Your Highness. Ibezimu Denze, you were one of the young men sent to the jungle of the spirits to dispose the effigy of the malevolent god Okanga when our people rejected it for its wickedness seven months ago. Ain't you? I, I am, Your Highness. Good. I have business to do with Okanga right now. And the native doctor told me that Okanga can only help me if I can find out where it was disposed and meet with him there. You will take me there now. How, Your Highness? Nobody goes into the jungle of the spirits and come out alive without the gods permitting him. I have their permission for the three of us, Ibezim. The most powerful native doctor in our clan just gave it to me. Even with this, Your Highness, I'm sorry I cannot do as you want. Before going into the jungle of the spirits seven months ago, we swore before the gods of Abba never to show anybody where we disposed of our Kanda. Failure which the punishment will be instant execution by the gods. Should the person that did this step his feet on Abba's soil after that? Just before my father died last month, Ibezin, a case was pending before him involving you and your father. It was said that you and your father found the sacred green snake dead in your house and secretly buried it to avoid the expensive burial rites. You would have been made to carry out for it if you had made it public. Both of you had already admitted guilt, haven't you? We were already preparing to bury the sacred snake as our constant stipulates, Your Highness. There are two types of punishments for people who committed such offense in Abba Ibezim. And the Igwe has the exclusive rights to determine which should be meted out to them. One is being forced to properly bury the snake, as you're getting ready to do. And the other is banishing of the culprits and his entire family from Abba forever. In two weeks' time, I will be crowned the Igwe of Abba Ibezim. Now, are you taking me to Okanga? Or are you risking family banishment once I become the Igwe? Think about your mother. 
your brothers, your sisters. The disgrace. What will life lay in store for all of you in a foreign land? Better only you than all of you, if you ask me, Ibezim. Now, are you taking me there or not? This is the place, Your Highness. Where? I can't see any effigy there. We we buried it in the anthill, as the chief priest instructed. You can now, yeah, my prince. Take him a little distance from here. The both of you wait till I come. Okay, my prince. Move fast. Okanga! 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 Prince Nicola of Abba Kingdom, why are you here disturbing the rest of the gold rejected by your people? I am sorry for what my people did to you, Great Okanga. If I become the Igwe, I will immediately return you to Abba and force my people to keep sacrificing to you with the royal decree. But first, I need your help to mount the throne. The throne of Abba has been taken away from you and your family. The native doctor has told me as much, but he didn't tell me why. Why should the gods pass such a wicked judgment on me? obi the true husband of the woman you forced to marry you committed suicide at the shrine of the gods of Abba after you falsely took his bride away from him on their wedding day despite everybody's objection, including that of your late father. How is that possible? My father and I have offered all the sacrifices we were told to offer to the gods after the incident. He only appeased them to spare your life and let you keep Ijama, Obiuko's wife. The cause he blessed on you before killing himself is still in place. He asked the gods to deny you happiness all your life and also the very thing that gave you the power you used to take his bride from him royalty since that day his blood has been constantly before the gods crying and urging them to rise up against you now they have you will never be the well father I made you a proposal to help me to the throne just now. And you're rejecting it, Okanga. This is my wife. 
Mm. What is happening to my wife, Okanga? Nothing. Nothing? Ah, she's in such pain as I'm seeing here. The wife is in labor. She is about to deliver a set of twins. No, Okanga. No, Okanga. In Abba culture, even though twins are considered sacred, and so never to be harmed, that same culture forbids anyone that produces them from occupying any public office. Being the Igwe of Abba inclusive, please, Okanga, kill the babies for me. In fact, let their mother die with them before delivery. Secure the throne for me, please. All oh, the gods of Abba have codes of conduct. Even as I'm here in the jungle, I am still bound by the codes. One of them is never to harm twins or their mothers. They are the property of the gods. If you want to be the will of Abba, return home and take care of that problem first. If you are able to handle it without the people getting to know, come back here and I will give you the power to become the aware. Do you know what he said? Cause of Abba, Your Highness. Your Highness, you're crying. What's happened? My wife. I came back a while ago and I found my wife unconscious in the bathroom. And she has delivered herself a baby girl. What? Without sending for me? Madam, this is no time for question and answer section. Go in there and help her. I have already cut off the umbilical cord and the baby is safe. But for my wife, I don't know what to do. Please go in there. My God. How is she? Oh my God. My face. How is she? We've lost her. Oh. Her highness is dead. Take this baby. Take 
Please let me. Thank you, baby. At the end of this forest, there's a river there. Kill that baby and throw her into that river. God forbid. Me. Kill a twin baby. Your Highness, we had a deal. You promised to give me money that will enable me to survive in exile if I take you to Oganga. I've done my part. And. This is my part. The money I promised you. Kill the baby and proceed on exile. Kill a twin baby and proceed on exile? As a young man with future or as a man condemned to death by the gods. You and I know that whoever that harms a twin in Abba will be executed by the gods within seven days, your highness. If I wanted you dead, Ibezim, I would have forced you to return to Abba with me. I brought you here in the forest of a neighboring kingdom because I wanted you to leave. The punishment for killing a twin can only take place if you ever return to Abba after killing the baby. The native doctor assured me of that a while ago. You're lying to me, aren't you? Ibezim, I don't have time for long talk. Ike now will follow you to make sure that I do as I want. Kill me if I don't, right? Good luck in your exile. How did it go, Ikena? As planned, my prince. I watched him kill the baby and threw her into the river. He's on his way to exile. Did he tell you where he's heading to? No, he didn't tell me, my prince. Whatever. If only he knew wherever he's going that the gods was to kill him for killing a twin born in Abba. Don't tell me you believe the lies I told him about the assurance from the native doctor. Ikena. Your Highness. I will do anything possible to become the Igwe. For the powers he promised me. I want you to stay back in the palace and take care of every other thing that happens. Keep the others and the sympathizers busy with some kind of lies to cover the truth about my absence from the palace. By the way, he can now. I have taken care of everything, Okanga. You have taken care of nothing, Igolo. But babies are still alive. That's not possible. My dad, Ikena, told me that he watched Ibezim kill and dispose the second one. He cannot lie to you. He let Ibezim escape with the child on hand. You cannot lie to me? That son of a whore lied to me. God knows if I get him. By the way, I never told you that one of the twin girls will be the next queen of Abba. How? Oh. In Abba Kingdom, if the royal family loses the throne, the bearer of this yogi the title will become the Igwe. To do that, he must take for a wife the oldest of married lady in the royal family that just lost her. Due to the sudden death of the last Isyogid, that position was passed on to his eight years old son. That boy is going to be the next Igwe of Abba Kingdom, and one of your twin girls will be his queen. The only way you can become the Igwe is if you kill the one that is to become queen before nightfall today. Please, tell me where Ibezin took her so I can track the bastard down and kill the both of them immediately. You will never be able to find them again. Only the destiny of the baby with him can. By the way, 
the will to be is the one in your house. Then she must die today. She and the treacherous Ikena must die today. Be careful, Ingolo. The spirit of your wife is very angry. She is watching over the child. Be very careful. Not even a thousand you in spirit form can stop me, Ijoma. I will kill that animal you gave birth to. And I, Prince Eagle of Abba Kingdom, must become the Igwe. left Abba. I wish I had seen him. I would have wrenched his heart out with my bare hands and fed it to him to eat before he dies. Well, that could be this to bad rubbish. This idiot is now the only obstacle to the throne. Bitch, you should have chosen a better destiny. Die and get out of my way. Followed him to the jungle of the spirits, and I had everything he discussed with Okanga. Yes, that most wicked of gods I told him to kill the other baby to become the Igwe. I followed him to the palace, but I ran away when I when I heard people shouting that he has died. I, one of my colleagues told me that they heard him scream from his room. On, on rushing there, they found him dead, and his corpse was shattered. Like it was burnt. I think the, the gods must have roasted in my life. Thank you, the gods of Abba. Thank you, Ikenla, for listening to my pleas. Now allow me to save this baby. Thank you too for making me say reasons to do that. Now, now what next? Of course. I can't go back to the land of Abba. But you, you have to return to Abba. Tell our people the truth and help me to console my family. I will tell you where you come for the baby later so that she could be reunited with her people. I am sorry, Basim. I am sorry. I will never go back to Abba ever again. For the sake of this innocent baby, Ikena, you have to. She deserves to live and grow up in Abba. Not with you, Nexa. She's innocent, and our people deserve to know the truth about what happened. What do you think the people will do to me if I tell them everything as it happened? They will kill me, Basim. They will kill me. I, I want to go on, on, on exile with you. I don't want to die. Okay.
they are lovely healthy girls you are lucky to have come when you did i doubt if you would have survived giving birth to this set of twins alone but if i may ask where is your husband i mean your family oh madam you know don't cry dry up your tears we have to talk about this in the hospital okay congratulations for self-delivery thank you doctor you're welcome madam let me go and clean up the room where you gave birth bury the after beds um relax then i will take you to the clinic where i work relax My God will bless you abundantly. Thank you very much. I don't hate you. God in heaven knows I don't. But I have to do this for both of you and I to survive. Goodbye and good luck, my love. The baby I left with is Lillian here. Till this, I don't know what became of her twin sister. I left that village that same day. The next day, I took a cab to Makati, where I grew up. Hoping to meet a friend or a good neighbor who could help me. Coincidentally, I met Ibe there. He said he had been looking for me for two weeks. That his conscience wouldn't let him be. The next day, he took me to Meduguri, where he had relocated to. My son, I'm still not comfortable uh, with your refusal to return back to the village with me immediately. Father, I've told you not to worry about me. I cannot return to Abba now. I need to stay back and personally oversee the release of Ibe and his family. With what we know now, Father, I cannot leave him in the hands of just anybody. Oh no. Their safety to me is more important than anything else. Ibobwe, time is no more on our side. We have no time. Eh? Have you forgotten that Igwe's deadline is today? Eh? Father, you still maintain that there's no way we can buy more time. Why I'm asking this is because, come on, being deported from the prison yard in Europe means that I came back with nothing. Absolutely nothing. And if I have to go to the village to become the Isiogi, it means I need to relocate fully to the village, to Abba. Now, how do I do this and still restore the dignity of this family which is already in tatters with nothing in my pocket? How? Come on, Father. Look at me. I'm only surviving on the goodwill of my former boy, Nelson. Ashamed of myself. My son, if it is possible for me to buy more time under the circumstances, I would have told you. 
You know? Uh, uh, there's nothing I can do. It's not possible. If I the only way you will have more 40 days is if I should drop dead before the expiration of today's deadline. But <laughs> I'm not dying. I'm not sick. I'm healthy. So it's not possible. You know? Of course you will not drop dead, you will not die. God forbid that I wish you death, not even for the presidential seat of this country. Never. Come on, Dad. You are the only family I have. It's alright. It's okay. I will do anything for you, Father. Alright. Go back to the village. Tell His Majesty that I will be in Abba before 3 p.m. Okay? Yeah. Thank you, my son. Alright, <clears throat> oh, Father. <clears throat> I love you, Father. Thank you. David, his boss. Take my father back to Abba. Uh, bring my back. You have to wait for me and take me to the palace because the royal council meeting will soon start. As a matter of fact, I need to inform them of Ibukwe's imminent return immediately. Okay, sir. Thank you. Uh, let me help you go. you are telling us is that no one has spotted Isio Gudobuka and his son in Abba. How does one explain this? That in Isio Gide left Abba without informing me. A day after we hear that his son is back home from abroad. Still, on the day that both of them were supposed to come and see me to avert family disgrace, neither of them is in Abba. Your Majesty, maybe he so get his back at his game again. We all know him as a master of the game of surprise. At this point, he is supposed to be wise enough to know that Abba is in a different mood today. Ekwene, Your Majesty, stretch out your hand.
the sword that symbolizes the authority of Isiogiri must lie in that house because it is a taboo for that sword to be removed out of Abba except in the time of war. So, get one of your colleagues, go to his house, break down the door if you must, and bring me the sword immediately. It is quite obvious that Obuka and his son have no respect for the uh, exalted position in which the family is placed. Enough! Go! Igwe. Igwe. The elders are here. They are at the gate already. God's the father. He will Congratulations on your acceptance by the gods as the Isiogedi of Abba. With the warmth in our hearts and on behalf of my sons in America, my Ugeze, my princess, and my chiefs, I accept you as one of us in this palace. One of our elders of our kingdom. To complete your installation, I hereby and over the sacred sword to you. I promised you I was going to launch an extensive search for your twin sister, Lillian. I did that, and the search paid off handsomely yesterday. You found her alive? Bring them in.
Please, sit down. Like I told you, Dr. Osondo and Chisom, no harm will come to you, okay? Just relax, enjoy my company, and tell these two ladies what you told me in Abba earlier today. Talk. When I came out from the bathroom, I found out that the girl had gone with one of the babies. I was perplexed. I was afraid to call in the police or even to make what happened public because I knew it would end me up in an unpleasant situation. I decided after searching for her in vain to take the baby to my fiance. She's also a medical doctor but serving them somewhere in the eastern part of the country. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm right. I couldn't just risk anything in such far away place by taking the baby to the police or making what happened public. Who will believe me when the little inquiry I made about the lady showed that she has no relative in the village besides in their culture? According to the people I confided in, the lady is found. <laughs> I will be forced to marry her. Besides, in their culture, according to the people I confided in, for getting involved with her in the first place. Having a child out of wedlock is a taboo there. Any man that gets close to such a lady, forced to marry her and offer expensive sacrifices to their gods to cleanse the land. This is too much. And so, I, I, I don't get this. What solution do you have in mind? Both of us are getting married after our national service. I want us to adopt her as soon as. What? So are you not? Okay. Assuming I agree with you, who is going to take care of the baby till then? I want us to take her to the orphanage and dance. You know what? We'll have to talk about this later. Eh? There is an emergency case in the hospital, and that is what the bell is for. Emergency? Yes. Okay. I'll have to go. That is what the bell is for. Okay. So, when I come back, you can talk about it. Take care of yourself. Midwife. Uh, 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 please, you have to take the baby to the home. Yes, doctor. And inform the father about her successful birth. Let me return to the mall. As you saw yourself, she's not feeling strong yet. Yes, doctor. We are dead, Dr. Tsum. Both of us will be killed if this thing gets out. We did not kill ordinary baby, but just a royal baby. It was just an accident, midwife. The people will not hear that, doctor. A royal has been killed violently in the hands of no royals. That's a sacrilege in Abba Kingdom. The penalty is even for both of us, it's just death by hanging. No one will stop to ask how it happened. My position as a royal midwife cannot even save us. My God, what are we going to do? I don't know. I just don't know. Maybe it's our destiny to die like that. No. Let us go and report ourselves to His Royal Majesty. Wait, wait, wait. I, I have a baby. You have a baby? How does that change the situation here? She is just a day old. Yeah. Please substitute the dead baby with her. Yes, we can do this. Okay? The baby is in my room now. Listen to me. We can do this. I don't want to die with her. After much begging, she agreed with me. But, but co co convincing us on the here to give up the baby was the most difficult part of it. But he agreed when he dawned on him that I could leave him forever. Uh, we, we had to secretly dispose the dead baby and handed over the abandoned child to their majesties. She is now the current princess of Abba Kingdom. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. Yes. Thank you very much. You, you may leave now. Us. Now, stand up. This way. Easy, easy. Wait. Easy. Mm. 
It seems the last part of this puzzle has just been solved. Oh, brilliant. You and your twin sister, the Queen of Abba, you look so identical that you can hardly be told apart. Same with you, Lillian, you and the princess. And there lies the essence of what I've been doing with both of you for the past few days. I intend to return both of you to Abba as the Queen and Princess, respectively. You must be joking. I don't joke. Not when my future is involved. Someone will be coming here to coach you on the ways of the royals, and I advise you cooperate with her. I will not. I will not cooperate with nobody while I'm under captivity. I will never. Same here. All right. Fine. We'll find out when she comes. I think we're done with the easy part of this plot. From this point on, I believe I'll be needing the spiritual backing you talked about. Well, thank God you're beginning to see reasons with me in that regard. Do you have any spiritualist in mind? Ah, uh, I've been away for too long. I don't know anybody. I say you take me to the one you talked about the other time. Call him a Pastor Leo or something. When? So that's all about the plan, Pastor Leo. Nelson here told me that if I must succeed, I must seek and have your spiritual backing from this point on. He says, you are the real power behind his tremendous success as a kidnapper. Yes. Not just him, you know. Countless others like him depend on me. You see, believing me and my spiritual powers simply means success for whatsoever anyone sets out to achieve. I've heard you, and your ambition is absolutely achievable. But the question is, do you believe in me and the one I represent on earth? He believes, Pastor. Let him speak for himself, Nelson. For the spirits are here. And they are listening. I believe. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> you will give me your blood to drink. Excuse me. Yes. And after that, you are as good as being on the throne of Abba Kingdom. You see, this is, this is where I come from, okay? Did you just hear this guy? You just have to do it. I did it. Take off your shirt. And turn your back to me.
As you know, Nelson, we remain like this for seven days. During which I'll be sucking his blood twice daily. If he has enough blood to survive, he's got my backing. Nelson, my fee is two million naira. Who is going to pay me? I will take care of that. Uh, but as soon as you're able to get the mask, come. Consider the mask already in your hand. Take care of it. This is your new room. Food will be ready shortly. Please, can you explain to me what's going on? What I'm doing here? You will soon find out. Calm down. I trust my boys. You trust your boys and it's been hours. Ah, they've not reached us on phone. Well, I gave them specific instructions and they will carry it out strictly. Calm down. Go. How far, David? Strictly as planned, sir. Oh. Where are the girls? We are professionals, sir. The princess is now cooling off in her room as we speak, while Betty is outside with Amelia. Ah. <laughs> Nelson. Uh -huh. Good job, good job. <laughs> Thank you, boss. 
Now I see why you say you trust your boys. Ah, gods of Abba. <laughs> gods of Abba. <sighs> Get me a new right now. Only her. Bring her in. Yes, boss. Hmm, sweetheart. A million darling. How did it go? Just that I'm still in shock at the way your colleagues were wasted, huh? Yes, that was not what we discussed. Relax, for your own good and mine, nothing must be taken for granted. I know, but we planned the operation in such a way that Princess Olama wouldn't have any idea than part of it. Why killing indigenous of Abba in the process? All right, fine, I give up. You win, no more bloodshed, okay? Hey, relax. Come on, it's still me, it's still me, Bobe. the guy you freely gave your innocence 11 years ago. Mm -hmm. Don't I deserve a kiss? Huh? <laughs> All right, come here, come here, come here, come and relax and share, have fun. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, oh. Mm -hmm. that's what we're talking about, um, Davy. You were excused. Nelson, look away. Look away, boy. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. oh why don't I give you some like, good music? Oh. Put you in the oh. perfect mood. Igwe! Your Majesty. Darkness has enveloped the kingdom of Abba. Yeah. Meaning what? What's happened? Your Majesty, I am Inspector Solomon from Divisional Headquarters. Yeah. The Princess of Abba and her chief maid Emilia are missing. This is a joke, isn't it, officer? It's not a joke, Your Majesty. We have every reason to suspect that they were kidnapped. Yes. In this our kingdom. Oboko, great God of Abba Kingdom, I have come to serve you. I have continued to serve you. I will continue to serve you. Oboko, Oboko, I see Panama. Of I am Leo, Grand Servant of the Gods of the Northern Lake. Give way, let me carry out my mission. Yes, the next attack from me will kill you. Asi, Bumba de Ban, Meta de Merkel.
Tandala Indava Tandala Ukboko Thou chief god of Abba Kingdom Arise and follow me. I swear by this ancient sword of war, I will avenge your death, Ezemor. I don't know what this is all about. I do not know what is going on. But I swear that I, Ibogwe Obuka, the East Yogini of Abba, I will avenge your death, Ezemor. And I will avenge the death of every Abba indigen killed today. I will not stop. I will not stop until our princess returns to Abba. Mom, I will fight. Oh, I will fight for Abba. I, the Isogidi, will fight for Abba. Isogidi, Atakatabua.
What did the gods say? Your Majesty, the gods are no more. What are you talking about? Your Majesty, the gods and people of Abba are under attack. What? Oh yes. We went to console them over the missing princess and we met the abode on fire. <laughs> what are you talking about? The shrine of the, of the all-powerful Okpoko and the gods of Abba on fire? Yes, Your Majesty. What did the chief priest say about that? The chief priest is dead. What? Yes. We found him in a pool of his own blood right in front of his house. He was murdered. By who? I don't know. My daughter is missing. The police have no clue. And the gods are no more. The gods are no more. The gods are I need you to brief me first. One thing you may not know, Nelson. What we did was declaring war on both men and the gods. One inconclusive move, and we are history. Oh, come on, boss. And I'm not given to making inconclusive moves. That's why I'm one of the most successful in this business. This kidnapping business. Well, Pastor Leo was able to subdue the spirit behind the mask. A Canadian art collector paid for and has left the country with the mask. Boss. Right here, boss. Pacino would have been green with envy had he been there to see me perform yesterday. Uh, I killed them, Nelson. I killed them. It's your guinea of Abba. It's your guinea of Abba. Call me again, Nelson. It's your guinea of Doku. Call me again, Nelson. This is just the beginning, Nelson. This is just the beginning. Her Majesty refers to His Majesty as my Lord in public and in their privacy. And if His Majesty is angry, she is forbidden from looking to his face while talking to him. So is every other person anyways. She has this habit of squeezing his hands and winking at him whenever she wanted them alone for one reason or the other. I think that's all for today. Tomorrow we'll discuss their likes and dislikes when it comes to food and every other details in that area. Any question? I take your silence to mean none. Your turn, Lillian. Don't you ever call my name. You swine. You called me what? I called you a shameless slave, swine. Quiet! Let me handle this.
You know what this is? This is cement mixed with water. Now I'm going to make sure you drink every single drop of it. And when you are dead, make sure you throw her cups in the sewage pit. Now hold her down. No. I said no. hold her down. I'm sorry. Hold her. I'm sorry. Please. Hold her Please. Down. Please. 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 Please, my daughter, please. Now, try talking back again. And your corpse will end up in the sewage pit. She won't talk again. This is just the beginning. Will you disobey Amelia again? No. I didn't hear you. No! No! Try it again and you're dead. Untie yourself. I can't untie myself. I, I'll, I'll untie myself. for a jumper, right? Wrong assumption, babe. You are nothing but a slave. <sighs> Hello, boss. She's refusing to eat. Brutalize her into submission. Do it now. Okay, boss. Consider it done, boss. What did he say? He gave us green lights to apply a Taliban method on her. Here we go. This is just the beginning. Eat your food or oh, beat you to death. You must be out of your mind. <sighs> oh. Biv, tear her clothes into shreds. By the time I'm done with you, you will not recognize the shape of that thing in between your legs. Then eat your food. Good girl. Now, eat. Let me wash out the blood in my mouth. No! You've lost that privilege. You will eat with the blood in your mouth. Now, you have five seconds to start eating. One!
Your Majesty, your food is ready. Your Majesty, I said your food I is... Have you informed Lord of it? Yes, Your Majesty. I'll be there shortly. before you came to me, didn't you? I did, Your Majesty. Let me go for her again. No. I'll go myself. Celine said she told you that food is ready. I don't have appetite, my lord. It's almost 24 hours since you tasted anything in this house. My dear, do you want to starve yourself to death? I am not hungry, my lord. My stomach is already filled. The gods have been feeding me with the bread of sorrow since yesterday. I have not been spared the ordeal either. I have been... I, I mean, the same bread of sorrow has been stuffed through my throat. If we must survive, then we must be strong in mind and spirit. And the only way to do that is to eat. Eat? Where is my daughter? Where is the princess of Abba? Is she alive? If she is, has she eaten? What have they fed her? The gods will take care of her. The gods are no more. They have been burnt, destroyed. Whatever is responsible for what is happening in Abba is even more powerful than the gods. I mean, can't you see? We are under a dangerous siege. The way out is what we should be talking about, not food. Well, but we need some fuel in us, however I'm little. I'm sorry, my lord. I will not eat anything without my daughter back in this palace. I'm sorry. I will not. I will not.
Oh, my Dios. Oh, my Dios. In a nutshell, Your Majesty, we have explored all the leads we have. All hit dead end. Meaning what in layman's terms? In simple terms, we don't know anything about the whereabouts of your daughter. In fact, we don't know whether she's still alive or not. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but that is the bitter truth. You may leave, officer. I know that you're dismissing him. Where is my daughter? Officer, please don't go yet. Where is my daughter? Please, help me find her. Please, where, where is my daughter? Help me find my daughter, please. Help me. Even if she's dead, please, let me just see her corpse. Please. 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 Thank you. You'll be back home, safe and sound. You and your men have refused to tell us anything since you took my husband away from here. Instead, you brought a lady to come and teach us about some people we don't know anything about. But I've, I've talked to my daughter and we agreed that we'll cooperate with you to whatever extent. My mother is in line. We will cooperate with you to any extent because we want to live here in peace and go home. No more fighting, no more disobedience. We will do as you say. Obviously, you have won. Cooperate with Amelia first, and I'll be convinced. Reveal to me every secret. Open up, O oh Lord, my eyes. Let me see every truth that has to do with the situation we find ourselves. Oh, Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. You see, the Holy Spirit just revealed to me that Princess Olama is alive. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Mm. The Spirit revealed to me that she was kidnapped by ritualists for human sacrifice because she's a virgin. She is alive. Yes, she is. Time. Time is fast running out for her. Where is my daughter? Where are they keeping her? Oh. 
Santa Fagunda. Nina Shakna. Ah, yes, thank you, Lord. She is alive. The spirit is not telling me. You see, the people behind our team are very, very wicked and powerful indeed. In fact, they are behind the destruction of the gods your people are trusted for generations. But oh, Pastor, please, how and where do we start looking for her? Lord. Pastor. Only one man. Only one man can find her. Oh, oh God. Who? Oh. The spirit is not revealing its identity to me, Your Majesty. Oh. oh God, please. Where is she? Where are they keeping her? Please, how well do we get her? How much time does my daughter have, please? Time is fast running out of her. Our days are numbered, Your Majesty. Peace be unto this house. Pastor! Pastor! Do you really believe what that young man said? Yes, my king, I do. Who is he? And how much do you know about him? I don't really know him that much. But he is widely reputed to be the most powerful man of God east of the Niger. Mm -hmm. The most powerful man of God east of the Niger. Impressive. Intimidating credentials. Mm -hmm. You know, he said many things. But still, he didn't say the most important things. Like the whereabouts of our daughter, the identity of her abductors. And the identity of the only man who can find her. Hmm. <laughs> what manner of solution is that? My king, please. Stop doubting. All a man's life is at stake here. Please do something. My dear. I am neither doubting or, or, or sitting on my laurels. No, I'm looking for information. Information that will help me in the next step that I take. Look, our gods have failed us. The police have no clue. The Christian God is confusing rather than clarifying. I think it is time to consult Umpoto of Okono Ohavia. Yes. The most powerful seer in West Africa. Yes, I think it is time. Yes. <laughs> Fantastic job you did, Pastor Leo. My informant in the palace told me that you left Her Majesty absolutely convinced. Her husband must be under intense heat from her to act. And he must act. You see, it's not for nothing they call me the most powerful man of God. The East of the Ninja. My house is a maker of sorts to all ages, sexes. 
classes in race. And um, some of us are still in business because of the spiritual backing we get from you. Oh, you've said it all. Oh, I told you the last time you guys came consulting me, that the moment you come to me, all your aims and this has been achieved. Just relax and watch the events unfold. Okay, I like that. <laughs> Good job, Pastor Leo. Mm -hmm. Good job. Here you go. That's your teller. The 500 grand you charged for your trip to the palace was paid in a few hours ago. So you got it. And Excuse me. Hello. Hey, relax. Be calm. Talk to me. So there's trouble. His Majesty has decided to consult the dreaded Mpoto of Okunohafia. What? Mpoto, the greatest native here in West Africa? Ah, Pastor. Mpoto will expose everything I'm doomed. You see? Seniority is not what anyone jokes with in the spirit realm. You say, <clears throat> in the occult world, I hold the prestigious 999 rank. While your so called greatest here in West Africa holds the 777 rank. So relax. Just relax. Mpoto will do everything you ask him to do, if I ask him to, or else, I will destroy you. I'm sorry I don't believe you, Pastor. Oh, big Mokoi. I neutralized and destroyed Okoko and all your people's gods. Tell me, what else do you want me to do to make you a believer? I'll tell you. Get me Mpoto of Okuno Hafia right here and now. And I will believe you. Yes. No, but where, where, where? In my own house, boss? No, you, 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 do, do you want to kill me, J Bo? Relax, Nancy. Get me an egg. Huh? Yes. An egg. You heard the man, Nelson. You eat eggs, don't you? Get him an egg.
Angela. Mboto of Okuno Havia. Where am I going? Who knows me here? Relax. Relax. He is a friend. Ibokwe and Nelson, the great Umpoto of Okuno Afia is at your service. I like this guy. <laughs> Master Leo. <Bill. laughs> Get away from me! Don't come close to me! Get away from me! Remove your neck from that noose, else I will shoot! You're so foolish! Turning somebody who's ready to die! I Get away from me! That is totally unacceptable. If anything happens to that girl, the whole essence of this operation is defeated. How could you let it happen? But Jama, nobody could have suspected that of her. That means you all are a bunch of buffoons. Oh yes, if you are the professionals that you made me believe you are, then you should have seen it coming. She's been held against her will, a pampered baby all her life, not a common dog, all of you. For God's sake, you don't talk to my boys. You shut up, Mrs. Anyhow, you are my boy. I am your boss. Therefore, your guys are my servants. Slap me. And I will slap you again if you talk back on me, Nelson. If you don't want me to hit you again, then talk to me on how to avoid a repeat of what just happened. Don't try to teach me how to talk to your idiots. Oh, come on. Back down, guys. Okay. I'll take care of it. Meanwhile, you guys will return to where the lady is kept and make sure that at no point in time would she be left ever on her own again. You know, this will be the last time you will do this. The last time. Sorry about it. I was only trying to define myself to your guys. Not at my own expense. It never, never repeat itself again. I tell you, I tell you, I tell you, I tell you, I tell I see. You are in search of your missing daughter. <laughs> no one can hide his true identity from the spirit. Umpoto, he is still Umpoto. That's me. <laughs> the great seer of Okunu or Havia. The one who travels and re in the trail of smoke. The Elijah of Africa. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> oh, great one. Is my, is my daughter alive? Yes, she is. The gods, the priest. 
where, where, where is she? I mean, uh, who is holding her? Only justice can save the princess. Only justice can find her. I, I, I don't understand, the Great One. <laughs> you greatly wronged the last issue. And he died of heart attack. Because of the decision you and your cabinet took against him. His spirit is angry. And for that, your daughter and indeed the entire Abba is crying to them. The solution lies with his son. The Isiogidi of Abba. To him, with the spirit, reveal where your daughter is. And only him can find the missing princess and restore peace to all the nook and cranny of Abba. And this can only be done if you publicly go to his father's grave and apologize to him. Great one. The spirit has spoken. Go back home. After the apology has been rendered, hand this effigy to him. This effigy will lead him to where your daughter is. And don't forget, the time is not on the side of your daughter, your family, and the entire Abba. As if you're in the sky, about to fall, do not allow this rain to fall upon your people. I repeat, only justice can save the situation. Is there anything you are yet to understand about all that I've taught you about the mannerisms of Her Majesty and Princess Olama in the last couple of days? No. Beautiful. I think that concludes everything. You can now return to your rooms for further instructions. Not today. I mean, Lillian, you can go to the room alone. Both of you, this way. No, I, I, I don't understand. So where are you taking my mother? The real operation has just started. What are you, what are you doing? This way. Wait, wait. Go to your room. Move it. Wait, wait. wait. At least it's... Majesty will soon leave the doctor's place. Now, except there's a dangerous twist along the way, do not do anything that is not in our original plan. Am I clear? Good. Just do a good job of it, and good luck. Your life here with the bullets. No, 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 no. I will do anything you want me to do. Please don't hurt me. Then do not give me any reason to end your life today. Please don't hurt me.
What is going on here? Why are you stopping? What? Shut up. Sally. She will pull the trigger if you don't shut up at once of majesty. They are here. She will undress as soon as she gets into the next car. Make sure the other ladies' clothes are taken away from her the moment you get into this car. We don't have time to waste. Come down from this car! Now! Do this way! How long am I going to be this way? Well, that depends on how long it will take the police to get you. Police? Yeah, the police. They will have to find you and take you to the palace. Or the scheme will be less convincing. Do you have a problem with that? Like my opinion matters. Please, let's get this done, so I can have my peace and my parents can rest. I've always known you to be a smart-ass little girl. Mm. Lily, baby. Welcome to royalty. Her Majesty. Peace. <laughs> The gods have answered our prayers. Oh yes, they have revealed our daughter's whereabouts to the Gold Queen. Yes, right this minute he's on his way with the police to take them to the place and rescue her. Oh. Thank, you. thank you, Lord, thank you. Yes, he will have a lot of food to thank him for. Oh. Thank you. So how are you feeling? Tell me, this, how did, what did the doctor say about uh, the general debility that you complained about? Stress. Okay. He recommended a lot of rest and nothing more. I'm sure you will have plenty of that once our daughter returns unarmed. <laughs> of course, my lord. <laughs> my lord, I would like to rest a while in my room before they come back. Rest in your room? Yes, my lord. My whole body has started aching again. Uh, so, right. let's go. Hello. Igbo Koi? 
I, I, are you there yet? I beg you in the name of God, please make sure that my daughter returns unharmed. I trust you will. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bless you. How did I perform? Excellently. Very excellently. Are you sure? He looks like a very smart man. Are you sure he's not going to decode everything sooner than later? He is indeed a very smart man. Just be smarter and it is done. Do not forget what is at stake for you and your family. And in case you need any help, do not fail to approach me. Okay? I'll be leaving now. Every staff in this palace is not expected to be in this room beyond two minutes, especially when His Majesty is around. See? I'm scared. Fight. Eat. Udumaya, great Udumaya, where is she? Eyes of the spirits, is she in here? Thank you. Officers, she's in here. Are you sure? Yes, I am sure. Udumaya is Mpoto of Okuno Hafia's most potent charm. It never lies. Listen, mister, we're officers of the law. I will work with the facts only. Of course. Dumayaya is another name for facts. Officer, let's stop wasting time. Let's go in there and save the princess before she's home. You wait outside here. From now on, this point may because police operation strictly. Okay? You come with me inside. You wait outside here and stay with him, okay? Thank you, Dumaya. Thank you, Dumaya. Have they found her? So said Udumaya. There she comes. You know, those bastards got away. No suspects? No suspects. We didn't catch any of them. Let's go. Let's see. You get the car quickly. Fast. Really? Remove the blindfold, untie her hands, and bring her in, baby. Happy reunion with your daughter, Your Majesty. Company. What is difficult to understand in that? What are you doing? Who is doing this to us, Mom? What is going on? Is no way! No. I really do not know. What is going what is on? What is going on?
please. Ibokwe. Now, why haven't you, or, uh, and, and the officers, why haven't you picked up my calls? You okay? And my daughter? Oh! <laughs> what, just, have they rescued them? They have just entered the kingdom with my daughter, Hale and Hart. <laughs> Oh, that's the ghost of our ancestors. Oh, you're wonderful. Oh, wonderful. This is fantastic. Oh, fantastic. Ebony, bring the champagne. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. I'm glad. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. My elders, it's all right. People who will not die. I don't I don't I don't know. I don't I feel it. But we will soon be here. We will be here. Sit down. Have a drink. We will soon be here. Ah, my princess. My princess. Well, oh, I'm so happy. Don't you dare lay those bloody hands on me. Please don't. Don't tell me anything about the royal code of conduct. I don't want to hear about it now, not later, not ever. My goodness. What have they done to my daughter? The question should be that you don't know daughter. What? Look at my face. And look at it very well, Dad. You will pay for everything you made me go through. You will pay for every blood that was shed in the process. You must face the law. That, I swear. I, 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 I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Um, uh, all officers, no, thank you very much. At this point, you may have to leave us. Else you have my cops in your hands in the next 10 seconds. I beg you in the name of God, please calm down. Calm down and I, 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 I will... The clock is ticking. I beg you in the name Get of God. Get out. Please. My Lord. Please. My Lord, please. Please leave. Ah! Please leave. Well, leave. I, I, I'll talk to her alone. Please. I'm sure she will tell you everything when she's in a better mood. She's traumatized. Please. I mean it. Go. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Strike down the person who has done this to my daughter. Just go! Hello, oh, no, please, please, please. Your Majesty. You have to listen to me if you must save your daughter. your child. I am, I am not your daughter. I am not her majesty. I am your mother. Mama? Mm. It seems he suspected we planned to outsmart him. So he moved to check it out. How did it happen? It's a long story, but the summary of it all is that we are into something big and sinister.
What did my daughter tell you on your way here? Nothing, nothing, Your Majesty. Nothing? My family is burning. And I am totally ignorant of the cause. So, in the name of our ancestors, I order you to tell me whatever it is that she told you on your way back here to the palace today. Nothing, Your Majesty. Uh, except that after her initial joy at regaining her freedom, she ordered all of us never to communicate with you if it has to do with her. Or she would kill herself right there in the car. Then something must be wrong somewhere. Oh, yes. It was only after about an hour of begging that she allowed me to call you when we got into the kingdom. My king, did she tell you why she is angry? Yeah. She is the closest to me of all my children. But for her, to draw a knife on herself to force me out of her room tells me that there is a dangerous crisis. Amadioha. Amadioha. Tell me, what have they done to my daughter? What have they done to my daughter? What have they done? Please stay with me. Sit with me. To see the princess. See if I can get out something from her. And you think she'll tell you what she refused to tell her own father? Oh no, you heard his majesty. The palace is on fire. So doing nothing is no longer an option. Please stay with him. performance from both of you so far. Indeed, you exceeded my expectations. Why did you bring my mother here too? Uh, you tried to blow everything to her thinking she's a majesty, huh? <laughs> you don't know me. I don't take chances, baby. Uh -uh. Where is my sister now? Oh, she is alive and well and at the moment she is reunited with her daughter. I'm sure she'll be all smiles where she is. All smiles and captivity? Whatever. Now to the next phase of the plan. I'm a very busy man. Don't mess this up. Let's go. Let's go. Don't shout. Oh. Don't forget you're not the princess. You're just acting. Move. Don't waste my time. Let's go. Elders and mother, tell me why you did it. Why I did what? Why you had me kidnapped. What? Why you had my maid and my guard murdered by hardened criminals. Just because I threatened to expose you for impregnating Emilia? Aru, do you realize the weight of what you have just said, my princess? It is an abomination for the evil to have sex with a woman is not legally married to. Then this man here, my father, is a taboo. <laughs> exactly is what he did. What? He is a kidnapper and a murderer. And as we speak, he still hides Amelia to conceal the truth. Would you shut your mouth? Are you possessed by an evil spirit? 
I am possessed by anger over your evil deed. And if you say I'm lying, why don't you produce Emilia? Then we'll know who's lying. We'll produce Emilia? I don't know where Emilia is. Upon my life, I do not know where Emilia is. Shame. You can still look us all in the face and lie. Such, such cheap lies. Very well then. Let's wait. Perhaps when the police arrive, the truth will certainly come out. Come on, princess. Not again. You are walking out on your father. Not again! My lord. If at the end of the day she's telling the truth, We can't go out today. What do you mean we we can't go out today? Yes. Okay. What's the meaning of this? Are you out of your minds? Have you all forgotten who you are in this palace and in this kingdom? Hey, let's go. Have you forgotten? What is going on here? See for yourself, sir. Ordinary guards prevented us from using the car. And when we wanted to trek out of this compound, and they blocked the gate. How dare you, you dog! Stop. He's acting under the most sacred decree in Abba. If I allows Her Majesty and the princess out of the palace before His Majesty revises the case, he will drop dead. What? When, when did my husband issue such a decree? Earlier today, Your Majesty. I'm sorry. I see. So my father aims to stop me with this nonsense. <laughs> Sorry, Daddy. Officer. Yes. Please. I need you to bring your men to the palace immediately. I'm being held hostage in the palace by my father. And I have serious reasons to believe that my life and that of my chief maid are in serious danger. Please hurry. Thank you. It's okay. Elders. I'm off here. Oh, my goodness, 
police and arrest this man. He impregnated her and killed her so there would be no one to collaborate my story. Will you shut up? I am your father. God forbid. God forbid that a murderer be my father. Huh? Is it true, my lord? That is not Iota who said it. The trauma she has been through has affected her brain. You are the one who's mad. You are the one who's mad, Dad, for sleeping with her and killing my maid just to cover up for your sins. You people are getting me confused here. Can somebody explain things to me in simple terms? This is my maid, officer. My father slept with her. In Abba Kingdom, it's a taboo for the king to sleep with a woman he's not legally married to. She confided in me that she was pregnant by my father. In anger, I confronted my father. And next, I was kidnapped. My guard was killed. My maid was killed in the process. On my return, I told the elders everything my father had done. And next, this happened. Let me just shut up! Arrest this man! That is no truth in what you say. No truth! Not an iota of truth! I'm sorry, Your I Majesty. Am. I'm sorry. I'm placing you under arrest right what? now. Keep your yes, sir. Go off him, yes, sir. Go off him, yes, sir. Go off him, yes, sir. What is going on? Ah, what, 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 what is going on? Tell them, please tell them what? that I cannot kill anyone. They are they all my subjects. Officer, this is the I way will. of Abba Kingdom. You cannot do this. I will. I cannot. And I will not kill anyone. You murdered her, didn't you? God. You have turned your killing machine against your own people. Against your fiance. She told me you promised to marry her. That was why she joined your evil plot. Who killed Emilia? You don't need to know. I need to know. And I must know, if you don't tell me, my mother and I will stop cooperating in this evil plot of yours. Really? Yes. All right. All I need is a, a very little sign of such. And you, your mom, and your two younger brothers will be dead before you know what hit you. You can't possibly... Eberia and Selin are under my direct orders to constantly watch you. Just in case you ever think of doing anything stupid. Are you saying you don't trust us anymore? I never told you I trusted you. I hate you! Same here. Honestly, I'll be going against protocol, allowing you access to him. He is not yet interrogated. And, um, okay. You are all gentlemen and respected leaders of a great people. For that singular reason, I'll bring him to see you in a jiffy. Precisely five minutes. Thank you, officer. Thank you. Thank you. We're grateful. Excuse me. Thank you. Let's do it.
the representatives of the ancestors of Abba. We are here. Stop it. That's all right. It's all right, Inspector. They are here to fulfill a very important tradition, especially when the king of Abba is accused of an abomination of this. Facing you this moment are the ancestors of Abba. And talking to you now is Enyi Igidi, the great founder of Abba. Your Majesty, did you do what you are being accused of? I did not. Remember the consequences of lying? I do not. And I have never forgotten the consequences of lying to you. My answer remains the same. I did not lie. I have never done it. It is the truth. And nothing but the whole truth. At your service. What are you doing? Are you out of your mind? You also kidnapped the Isio Gidi of Abba Kingdom? No, 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 no. Nobody can kidnap me. I am their boss. What? Isio Gidi Mukwe. You mean you're the one behind all the evil going on in Abba Kingdom? How dare you? How dare you play such an expensive joke on my family? How dare you? One more step and both of you will die this minute. Why? Why are you doing this? What do you stand to gain by doing this? Where did we go wrong? With due respect, my princess, shut up. <clears throat> Your cell phone. You will pick up that cell phone right in front of me this minute and call your two sons in America. Listen to me, I'm still talking. You will call them right now, order them to come back to this country and take care of your family crisis. Tell them that their father, His Majesty, has been arrested for plotting the kidnap of their sister and for murdering her chief maid, Amelia, earlier today. What in God's name are you up to, Mugwe? Do you want to wipe out my entire family? God forbid that I give you that chance. I will not make that call to your worst. All right. I'll do my worst. <laughs> In 60 seconds, if you don't make the call, your daughter dies. When I'm done with her, I give you two minutes. You don't make the call, you die. When I'm done with both of you, of course, I'll get someone else to make the call for me. So, the choice is yours. Give me 60 counts. One. Wait, wait. He's right, mother. Our deaths will not solve anything. You can't stop him. Please make the call. 
Let's console ourselves with the fact that evil can never prevail over good. Make the call. Where are you going to? I want to ease myself. Can't I have a little privacy? I'm just obeying others. All are under arrest for the murder of His Majesty. What? He was found dead this morning in his cell. His Majesty? Yes. He was poisoned, and we have every reason to suspect that you people did it when you visited yesterday. Oh no, come on, officer. These are elders of our kingdom. No, Isogi is not part of it. Leave him. One more unguarded statement from you and you're dead. You think I enjoy doing this? Huh? You think I enjoy forcing you to do this? You think I'm comfortable with the risk I take each second I keep you here? He has to give way for you to regain your freedom quicker than would have been the case. What a cheap excuse to shed human blood. How cheap could life be to you? Emilia helped you 
and you killed her. 24 hours later, you killed His Majesty too. At this rate, Iwogwe, who will be safe with you at the end of this your crazy enterprise? Who will not become expendable eventually? You and your family. But that depends on how much you continue to cooperate with me. Are my sister and her daughter still alive? None of your business. Really? Yeah. You're really taking a lot for granted. Do not forget the saying that blood is thicker than water. Uh, <laughs> are you planning to spoil my show for your sister's sake? I love my children so much. Good. I'll do anything for them to remain alive. Over to you, Lillian. Everybody told me that the police called you. What do they want? Nothing. They only insisted on seeing me at their office in an hour. I don't need to remind you that you will be starting a bloodbath. And none of us will survive if you go there and start talking carelessly. But my mother rightly told you. We love our family. Smart girl. Your phone. My princess, you are the visitor you said I have. You have five minutes. Thank you very much, officer. Honestly, they are accusing us wrongly. We only came here yesterday to perform a ritual demanded of us by royal tradition. I am sorry, maybe the ancestor killed your father for lying to them. I'm wondering, Amen. Do your ancestors poison a man that wrongs them if they want to kill him? No. The police also invited me here to be interrogated. They finished me a few minutes ago. I begged them to let me see you. Because I want to ask you a question. Now that my father is dead alone, who ascends the throne if my two brothers in America are perhaps unavailable? This yogi will be crying in way. Why do you ask? Are the princess in trouble? None that I know of. I'm just curious. My princess, tell me the truth. Did his majesty do all the things you accused him of? Officer! Officer! Yes? Thank you very much. I'm done with him. Move. Um, excuse me, sir. I'm sorry. Please, can I borrow your phone for a minute? Thank you very much. Just a minute. Could you tell me it's only Prince Roland that came into the country? Where is the other prince? All right, all right, all right, fine, 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 fine. It's okay, it's okay. Comport. It's all right. Fine. At least you can see Prince Roland. Fine, you're sure he's there. Pick him up once you leave the airport. Kill him. Oh yes, make it look like a perfect car accident. I repeat, David, make it look like a perfect car accident. Fine, carry on. Oh, Nelson, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Maybe he missed his flight. I'm sure he will catch another, and when he does, that will be it. And how do I do that? Huh? How do I kill two princes in one day? 
One dies in a car crash, the other one dies through another violent means. Both of them are coming back from America, come on. My people are no fools. They are right. The plane is already airborne. Is he on the plane? I cannot see the faces of the passengers clearly. But, 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 but why, Pastor? The plane is flying across the Atlantic Ocean. What are its powerful gentlemen? How much more time before it crosses the ocean? Give and take. Say four hours. Oh, yes. I can see the passenger manifest in New York. Mm. Yes. His name is on it. Uh, Should I go ahead and destroy him? No, 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 no. Not yet. Not yet? Yes. Not yet. I want to make this more painful for the mother and the sister. Good job. from Roland, your son. Roland? Mm -hmm. Is he back already? Let me guess. You've kidnapped him too, right? Yes. Death did. What? Mm. Mm -hmm. He and one of the royal guards were crushed by a speeding lorry on their way from the airport. Mm. They never had a chance. chance to fight for survival. Of course not. Too late in my plot to give chances, don't you think? No. Too late. No. Oh you know God. what? Whatever this is oh all God. about, 
we have to end here and now. Mm. If you do not kill us, we will kill you. Don't push me. Kill me. Don't push me. Kill us. Peace, ladies. Ah, Pastor Leo. Oh my God. Thank you for coming to our rescue. God bless you. Where are the policemen you brought? Are they outside? Please tell them to come in and arrest this beast before ah. he... <laughs> Dummies. If I heard the reverend gentleman correctly, he said, Peace, ladies. And that means, hold it. You work for him too, Pastor? A man of God? Your Majesty, I am here to do a job. My God. You are here to do a job or you are here to further betray the God you worship? Oh, shut up. What do you know about the God he worships, huh? I invited Pastor Leo to do a job for me, so I say, you sit back, relax, and watch. Because right in front of you, your son, Iguebike, will die. No, no, no. Reverend, make it very theatrical. No! Please! No, please! Please! What are you doing? On the bar! In the bar! Ten! are you with? Are you now calling me a harbinger of bad news? No, oh, your bad news itself. Oh, I keep telling you people, cut out the violence. Well, madam, you're right. I brought you bad news. Prince Roland and the guard who accompanied Emiri to pick him up from the airport died in an auto crash. noise yet. Not just yet, until the officials who are on their way to inform you arrive. Now when... What? Sit down. When they arrive, I want you to do something for me. I want you to cry. Weep. Weep like you've never done before. Can you do that for me, please? You killed them too. Um, it really went to the airport with the dead guard. How come he is not among the dead? Dummy. I don't kill my own. I'll tell that to this buffoon. Tell that to this buffoon standing here doing all your evil bidding with the hope that you are going to spare her life at the end. But you won't. You know why you won't? Because you are a blood tasty beast. That's what you are. And nobody, nobody is safe with you. Sit your spot Are you in essence telling me that you no longer believe that I will spare your life and the life of your family? So because of that, you are now working to spoil my plot. I want an answer to that question. I love my family. Don't make me doubt you on that. Take care of that. Ah, by the way. A plane crashed earlier today. I don't know if you guys heard about it. 
sad. Particularly very sad for the kingdom because Prince Igwebike was on that flight. No! 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 Shut up, shut up! I said shut up! Look, if you drop that or let your hand bend, you will get 12 flashes instantly here. Who poisoned his majesty? I said shut up! Please help us. Please help us. I'm innocent. You think I'm joking? Huh? Enough, officer. Enough. Drop the blocks, elders. Who are you? Are you out of your mind? Who do you think you... I have a, I have a court order to that effect. Elders, drop the blocks and get up. He's stating the facts. I've seen the court orders. It's all right, get up. Get up, all of you. I think you can poison his majesty. Uh, please thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. God bless thank you. you. Thank God you. God bless you. God bless you. Since the news came two days ago, our dear kingdom has been thrown into mourning and confusion. Their deaths meant that the vacuum in the people's throne has become very complex. It was based on this that I met with our town union executives and we were able to secure your release through the court of law. It cost me a whole lot of money. Oh yes. But then again, our dear kingdom, Abba, is worth sacrificing for by any true son of the soil. And seated right here is a true son of the soil. But that aside, the question now is, who sits on the throne in the absence of his majesty and his two sons? We need to move forward. The throne under such circumstances belongs to the sitting Isogidi of Abba. Huh? Yes. Excuse me. Me? Mm. Oh no, come on, not, not me. I cannot bring myself to gain from the tragedy of other elders, no! <clears throat> it is not a matter of choice. It is a duty that by our tradition, you must accept or die. If not... Huh? You must be joking. It's your giddy. He is right. No. Hi. Hi. Oh. Gods of our land, why? Eh, hey, why? Oh, how, how? How do I sit on the throne and, and rule over my people when my heart is so, so burdened by grief and, and sorrow, pain, death? Ah! Be courageous. The gods of our land will see you through. Oh, wow. wow. On the surface, Your Majesty, you and the Princess seem to be the worst hit by the tragedies. But when you look below the surface, you will see that every indigenous of Abba, especially those of us that are closest to the royal family, are bleeding in our hearts. Yes, we are. Take a look at it, so good. Hey! Hey! He has been crying like a baby ever since he was told that the throne of Abba is not his. Following the passing of your husband and sons. Hey, oh. you get it? Can you get it? Why? Why? Why would the gods 
tradition of Abba make a mockery of my grief. I place this such enormous task on my hands. Hey! Please, spare me the pain by telling me what he want from me. By the circumstance of his death, his corpse is now a taboo in Abba. As long as his corpse remains in Abba, the throne of our forefather will remain vagrant. Am I the one to bury him? No, none of us can. Only strangers will help us take his body to evil forest, where it will be hung on a tree for the vultures to consume him. Hey! Hey! Oh, hey! Can you just imagine, elders? Our own Igwe, Agune Temple, one of, of Abba Kingdom, Odobu, to be consumed by vultures. Hey! Hey! Hey, can sorry, I bear elders. this grief? I'm sorry, elders, I lost it. I still haven't seen why I'm here. The police said you have to come to the station to sign the requisite papers before his body can be released. Why do you want me to sign the documents? Tomorrow, Your Majesty. When you're ready, come for me. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Rasatakara Makaratakara Rasatakara Matakara Yes, he is inside. Hmm? Now make sure that you keep to the instruction I gave to you. Pastor Liu is a very dangerous man, a very powerful man. As soon as you go in there, claim to be his client. Before he suspects anything, hmm? strike him dead. Do you hear me? If you allow him to go close to his source of power, you are dead. Do you hear me well? Bad Amua. Good. Naji Abunde Kaje. Now the gate is somewhere there. Just go through that gate. I'm waiting. It's all right. I'm waiting. Bad Amua. I've signed all the necessary documents. You will go with the officer to the mortuary so that they can release the cops to you. Thank you very much, Your Majesty. May our ancestors... I would like to go back to the palace immediately. So, Majesty, please. Gentlemen, let's go. Yeah, boss. Very good. Get it, cops. 
Como... ¡Cómo es tuyo! ¡A los chicos de chao! First down all of you. If any of you raises up his head, I will cut off the person's head with this dagger. Kaji! Yes, we must. We must because we cannot crown another Igwe unless His Majesty's body is recovered. Mm -hmm. And the rituals are even for us properly done. Mm -hmm. If we try the other way around, all of us will die within seven days. Abroad normally. Are you telling me that? Oh no, no, that. See, wait, 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 wait. <clears throat> what I'm saying is this. Let's not reveal this to the public yet, okay? Uh, at least we may take some time to... Elders! Come on, don't walk out on me, I'm still talking, Elders! Give them access to a telephone. I, I, I don't understand, sir. You don't understand. Let me brief you. The corpse of the Igwe was stolen today, effectively blocking my way to the throne because I cannot get to the throne until the corpse is recovered. I suspect the princess and queen are behind this. They couldn't have done it without having access to a telephone. Who gave them a phone? I, I, I'm so sorry, sir. It was the princess that did it. I, I was charging my phone, I went to the toilet to ease myself. By the time I got back, I found her dialing with my phone, but, but it, it, she, she couldn't reach the person. I confirmed it myself by redialing the number and it was switched off, sir. It means you just lied to me. I, I'm, so, I'm so sorry, sir. It is, it's all right. It's all right. I've forgiven you. Turn around, leave. Thank you, sir. You don't want to talk to me. You think I am here to play with you. Let's see how it goes. Talk to me. I love to think both of you. No, 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 please stop, stop. We will talk. We will talk. We will tell you everything you want to know. 
to talk to me. I don't have time to waste. Uh, go and call back in the Tell him we're ready to talk. Alone. You suddenly have the whole time to waste. Here you're not waiting for. Fine, then talk. Who's got the cops? I can see you're untying yourself, huh? Don't worry about that. We've got this. Talk. Who's got the cops? We want to talk to you alone. Nelson is not going anywhere. You're wasting my time. Who's got the cops? Can I whisper it to you? If not, I won't say anything, not even at the point of death. Mm. All right, you win. Ah! No, 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 no! <laughs> Boss, we still need her. This is just the beginning. You think you'll win forever? You can kill me. You can wipe out all my family members. But the God of the innocent will never allow you to sit on the throne of Abba Kingdom. Shame on you. Shame on you, Ibukwe. Shame! Are you here? Very well. Oh, we're coming. Who is that? Important visitors. They are in the living room. In the living room? How did they know both of you are here? Huh? And your phone number? Who are they? Yuri, why don't you keep the questions till you meet them? Mama, let's go. Let's I will take the lead. Selene, yeah. you come after them. Should that be the case? Huh? Shoot both of them dead. Let's go. Mama, let's go. What is going on here? You know them, don't you? That's my father. And that's my mother. You know what is going on? And the boys with them are my sons, whom Ibukwe's men had shadowed of recent. Return them to Kwakwa, Tony, and Peter. Tell him that at any time he fails to hear from me, for one full hour, he should kill them. But, but my, mommy, why don't you? No buts, Peter. Just go with them. We're fine. Nothing is going to happen. Go on, guys.
You see, it's not just the lives of your parents that are in danger. The lives of your entire families are in danger. They're all being watched by not on set. And the minute we give our orders, they will kill them all. Don't give me reason to make a call asking them to kill your entire family members. And if you're in doubt about what she just said, use your phones. Now tell me. Oh, what do you want? Good question. I'll give you the answer back in the room. Meanwhile, can I have your guns, guys? They will be returned to you once they are empty of bullets. I'm just coming from the office of the phone service providers where I went to cross-check things. Betty was right. Lola and the princess never made any call to anyone or sent any text message from her, her phone. So that narrows it down to both of you. Who are you working for? Tell me, I will not ask again. Who took His Majesty's cops and murdered my homeboy, Pastor Leo? Are you joking or something? I look like someone who is joking. The two times that both of you went to the police station, you were out of sight. Who did you communicate with? Nobody. Come to think of it, if we wanted to betray you at the police station, should we have taken the option of calling somebody to come and do what you're talking about here? Shouldn't we simply have opened up to the police? Do I look like I'm here for an an question and answer session? Do I? Fine. By the time I am done with both of you, neither of you will be able to recognize the other. What are you talking about? I will tell you. I will use this, I will use this to cut off your toenails. When I'm done, I cut off your fingernails, all of them, ten of them, pull them out, and then I go to your teeth. Watch me. Don't take this, take them. Take them! Stop it! Stop it! Are you insane? We should be asking you that. What are you trying to do? Tell me! Do you want to put us in trouble? Huh? If you inflict bodily harm on people, both of us are responsible for. What will you tell the people outside? I don't bloody care! You hear me? No human being, dead or alive, will frustrate my plot to achieve what I want. Now take this thing out of my face and take this and take these people! Lay a finger on any of them here and I swear your cops will be the one to mount the throne of Abba. This is suicide both of you are committing. I hope you know that. Pack your things and leave this room now. Pack them and leave! Now move it. Now. Don't forget your tape. That was good, guys. Great job. You obviously want your family members alive. You have proven that. Your eyes have to be on him all the time. Focus alert.
This guy right here represents Mpoto of Okuno Hafia. He is just as strong as Mpoto is. He has come here to fortify all of you so you can go ahead and crown me king with or without the body of our late majesty being found. God forbid! forbid. Shut up! Shut up! Do you know who I am? Huh? You think I'm here to play? Do you know how much money I've invested in this? Huh? It's okay. This is dangerous. What if the chance fails? No! I am Umpoto of Okuno Hiafia. Umpoto is me. The charm will not fail. Pick it up! The charm will not fail. Pick it up right now or I'll put a bullet in the heads of all of you. Right now. simple. Tied in the pieces of cloth in your hands is the same poison I used to kill his majesty. Hey! Uh, you? It's so good. You? You? Yes. I will tell you what I want. I want the throne of Abba. And the throne of Abba I must get. Pick it up! What do you really want? Good question. I want you to lie to our people. Tell them that the body of our late king has been found and disposed of accordingly. Banley. Shut up, I'm still talking. You do not have the luxury of saying no. This guy standing right before you is a police detective. So if you waste my time, he'll go in there, dress up properly, come out and call his people to come here and arrest you. And remember, you already have your fingerprints on the pieces of cloth in your hands. It's okay. Are you accusing us of... Come into my house to poison me just as you poisoned our late king at the police station. Oh yes. And don't forget, in addition to facing the hangman's news, all your family members will be banished from Abba for the rest of their lives. So, the choice is yours. Having successfully recovered and disposed of your husband's corpse as demanded by our royal tradition, it is now time to commence the process of installing his successor. That informed this meeting. I don't see how that necessitates a meeting with my daughter and I, you know. Since the kingship has left this family, what is our business with the coronation of another king? Because of the peculiar nature of the succession, there's a ritual surviving members of the family must perform at the coronation or it will be considered illegitimate by the gods and our people. Where? At the forest of the kings. When? Tomorrow, noon, we'll be there. But like you and your boss, my mother and I have no intention to shed blood or see people suffer in the hands of the law. Go to the hotel indicated in that paper. The room number is also there. You will see your family members. 
disappear with them. If you must successfully escape the law, then you have to hurry, as time is against you. Okay. Thank you. God bless you. It's loving. Lillian, I'm so grateful. God will surely bless you, okay? Thank you very much. I'm very grateful. Thank you. Majesty and the princess have done theirs. It is now the final phase of your crown. Step forward. proceed to the village square.
you can win all the time? Rest him. Hello. Who is this, please? What? Prince Gwebike? That is not possible. Prince Gwebike died in a plane crash. Okay, okay, I'm listening. Thanks of all my thank you. Thanks of all my thank you. Oh, no, no, what's it? What is it? Prince is still alive. Oh, Prince is alive. still alive. Hey, 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 hey. Our prince is alive. Prince Our prince is alive. He said he was not in the flight that God crashed. Mm -hmm. He said the Lillian girl called him while he was about to board a flight in America. Mm -hmm. She made a call on the day she visited the police station. So he wasn't in the flight. Mm -hmm. He was not in the flight. Our prince is alive. His majesty's corpse is still safe. Mm -hmm. He said he was the one who planned with the Lillian girl and her mother to take it. The cops away from us. She has to stop the book. Our prince is still alive. Oh, 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 Sabuwa, akwa ba mo na dotiyo. 